across a number of industries in various roles. Uh, talking about the plant, I was introduced to the plant back in 2012 by a very good friend. There was this natural curiosity drive and I started reading about it. It is, it is a something that has been grown in India and been used by our ancient healers and, and been in the medicine for numerous, numerous years. I was introduced to cannabis when I was 14 years old and yes, I used to smoke cannabis. How I was introduced to cannabis is through my family only basically because traditionally my family has been using uh, cannabis seeds in their diet. Well, this roughly happened about six years back when I was working on a project. I was quite stressed about it and I couldn't focus on work. So at that point there was this person who came up to me and he was like, you should smoke a joint bro. I was completely surprised by it when the first time I tried it. Uh, I was happy, I was hungry and I had a great sleep that night. And the next day when I got back to work, it was completely fresh. It was amazing and I could focus on work the way I could have never done it before. Somewhere down graduation, uh, somehow realized that uh, all of my friends were doing it. I never wanted to get into drugs or anything of that sort. But uh, having said all of that, uh, I finally gave it a shot my second year of my graduation. And uh, I started feeling a change in my uh, temperament and all of that. And I started thinking about things that I never thought about. I got introduced to cannabis uh, seven to eight years ago by some of my friends from Amsterdam. I was having some frequent anxiety attacks during that time and uh, my friends uh, suggested me to try the plant. I was initially a bit reluctant uh, because uh, of the social stigma and the taboo that the society has put in my head. But I'm glad that I trusted my friends and went ahead and tried the plant. The prohibition is taking my right away to heal myself. Be it me or anybody else, for that matter of fact, if they believe that this plant or any other plant can cure them, then what right does the government have to stop me from healing myself? I was introduced to cannabis because I have ADHD and insomnia. It has so many uses and we still prohibit it compared to the other legal intoxicants such as alcohol or cigarettes which cause cancer and liver failure <laughs> they harm you whereas cannabis does not cancer epilepsy chronic ailments and many other illnesses can be treated with this alternative medicine uh, but they don't even want to try because of the taboo associated with the legal status of the plant people are told that the plant makes them insane which is totally false I know for a fact that it's a good medicine. I've used it for my pain. I've made canna oil for my sister. She has ulcers. It has helped her condition. And it has least amount of side effects as compared to the other available drugs in the market. And I'm a psychologist, so I know that it helps with the addiction. I know it can keep you away from harder drugs. And also it helps other psychological conditions like PTSD, anxiety, seizures, depression. So it has a lot of medical benefits to it that we are not use it, utilizing for now. I want to legalize this just because of all the cancer patients. I know the pain my father had when he gone through 12 chemotherapies and radiation. He died in my hand and at that time I thought that I would never ever see any cancer patient dying from it. So I want to legalize this cannabis oil for all the cancer patients. Also, legalizing hemp is a good option for all the industries. We can open many industries, we can clean our environment. A lot of things can be replaced by just hemp and there would be no waste, there would be no industrial waste. Hemp is biodegradable, so that can be used as an alternative for like plastic and a lot of other things. We can make skincare products with it, we can make paper with it, we can make fabric with it. That's another benefit to it and when we legalize it, it'll help our economy, we'll create a lot more jobs. So legalizing marijuana has a lot of more positives to it than negatives. So I think it's time that we should legalize it now. Uh, if hemp or cannabis comes in the market, it would be a big boom to the agricultural sector and it could make more than 20,000 different products that would eventually affect every other industry. But what I feel if they start growing hemp as a horticulture crop or the main cash crop, it would give them many benefits and it, they would have fixed source of income. To achieve a good success in India, it is always important to have a research work done to it. So let's say what I'm suggesting is to have physicians and hospitals involved in this process. The government plays a very crucial role. So what we need to do is we need to present facts which will make the government believe 
that the government itself is a stakeholder in this and they are to gain from it push not only words but also our actions backed by proper evidence we need to have a certain body of doctors psychologists psychotherapists psychiatrists and uh, nurses and uh, certain lawyers harm reductionists so all these people need to get together and sort of come up with a system of this regulation so that even the people at the most lowest strata of our society can get access to cannabis and its health benefits and, uh, and uh, the other benefits of it also an anti campaign of cigarettes of why are we still selling cigarettes what are the benefits of smoking why are still people smoking cigarettes if that is legal why can't this be legal when this is for your medicinal use when this is for your health for your well being for the good of the people if they can let alcohol be legal which is killing thousands of people then why can't they keep marijuana legal which is not even killing one person keep it legal and leave it up to the people whether they want to try it or no or whether they want to do it or no so the ban on this plant is is causing many underprivileged people uh, who cannot afford uh, expensive uh, corporate hospitals for various treatments i suffer from fibromyalgia people in my family suffer from cancer i i just hate the fact that people are not ready to have a discussion on it policy makers are not ready to have a discussion on it how how can you simply say that we're not going to discuss this this needs to be discussed you cannot take my right to a better life away from me you cannot take my right 